Hi, my name is Mrs. Lita with Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to go over our basic arithmetic plus and minus seven. And we're also going to find out the value of a set of coins. Are you ready for today's lesson? I'm ready as well. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, amen. Let's go ahead and recite our morality creed for today. You can find it on page number four in your mathematics workbook, morality creed. And let's begin. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent. And I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for coming to class today. We are on page 77. If you're following along with the workbook, we're wanting to determine the value of a set of coins. And we also want to complete some basic equations. Let's get started. We have our equations written down here. If you have a workbook, you will already see this there. If you do not have a workbook, you could just follow along. Maybe jot these equations down and we'll work through them together. The very first set, seven plus zero. So we want to find out what is seven plus zero. Well, I've got here a stack of seven cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when you have seven cubed, and if you add no other cube to it, then you still have seven. So seven is equal to seven. Let's write that down. Seven is the same as seven. Seven equals seven. The next equation, seven plus one. So we have our seven. We're gonna add one more. What's one greater than seven? Eight. One greater than seven is eight. Seven plus one is eight. Seven plus two. Okay, so we didn't find out. Well, we know that seven plus one is eight. But what's seven plus two? Let's find out. So we have our set of seven, our seven, plus we have two more that we're going to add right on top. And we're going to begin counting with the number that follows seven. Okay, so what number comes after seven? Eight, nine. We no longer have to start from the from the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we know that there are seven here. So when we're adding, we can just add the very next number and continue to increase in that way. Okay, so seven plus two is eight, nine. Eight. Nine. Seven plus two is nine. Now we want to know what is seven minus three. So if we have our stack of seven and we want to remove three, one, two, three, bye bye. How many do we have remaining? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Seven minus three is equal to four. The next equation, seven minus four, what is seven minus four? Well, if seven minus three is four, then seven minus four must be, let's find out. We have seven cubes in our hand. We're going to remove four of them. One, two, three, four. How many cubes do we have remaining? One, two, three. One, two, three, we have three cubes remaining. So we're going to write that down. Seven minus three is four. So seven minus four must be three. That's what I was hinting at before. Seven minus two equals what number? So let's start with seven. 
And then we're going to remove two. How many cubes do we have remaining? One, two, three, four, five. We have five cubes remaining. Therefore, seven minus two is five. You see that? Good job. We're just going to flip our board right over so that we can determine the value of the set of coins that we see here. This should be similar to the one that's in your workbook. So let's begin counting. Starting with the, let's add our cent sign back. There we go. You remember what we said the cent sign is used for? It's used for any value of money between the numbers one through 99. We call that the cent sign, one through 99. Okay, so we're gonna start with the nickels, which are each worth how many cents? Five cents each. The pennies are worth one cent each. And we're gonna start with the nickels because they're the larger number, larger value. And then we're going to go into the pennies and add increments of one. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So how, what is the value of our set of coins? How much money do we have here? We have 90 cents. Good job, way to go. Well, I'm so glad you came to class today. I um, love it when we're able to learn something new. And I think today we did just that. Remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. And until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with Hero Sports.